Kubernetes resources are defined as objects and can be managed using either the imperative or declarative approach. Let's examine them in great detail in this video. Kubernetes is a powerful container orchestration platform that allows you to manage and deploy containerized applications at scale. Kubernetes resources are the platform's fundamental building blocks and they are used to define and manage various aspects of a Kubernetes cluster. These resources are defined as objects, which are abstract concepts in Kubernetes. Some objects are put into a namespace, while others are available across the entire cluster. Kubernetes objects are described using YAML or JSON files, with YAML being the standard. When defining a Kubernetes object, specific mandatory parameters must be included, such as the API version, kind, metadata, and spec. Two primary management techniques for working with Kubernetes objects are imperative and declarative. It is important to note that a Kubernetes object should be managed using only one method. Mixing and matching techniques for the same object can result in undefined behavior. The imperative approach involves using commands to operate directly on live objects in the cluster. This approach is recommended for starting with Kubernetes or running a one-off task in a cluster. However, because these commands operate directly on live objects, they do not provide a history of previous configurations, an audit trial associated with changes, or a template for creating new objects. Regarding the example usage, you can use the kubectl create command to create the resources. Next, the kubectl get command will list the running resources while the kubectl run command can quickly launch a pod. On the other hand, the declarative approach involves working with object configuration files stored locally. Create, update and delete operations are automatically directed per object by kubectl. This approach allows object configuration to be stored in a source control system such as git and provides a template for creating new objects. However, a basic understanding of the object schema and an additional step in writing a YAML file is required. Regarding the example usage, the busybox pod YAML file shows the YAML manifest file of a pod. Once the file is created, this configuration can be applied using the kubectl apply command by passing the file name.